Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is Super Mario Galaxy, and this is my first ever playthrough of Super Mario Galaxy. All roads lead to the double zero, and we are heading towards a fight of what should be epic proportions. It's been leading to this, we're about to fight Bowser. It's time, do you want to go to the location of your special one at the center of the universe? Yes, here we go. I'm so... All right then, off we go. While it's awesome that we got to see... Oh, we're getting a, a scene here. Like, here's the thing. Can I just say something about Rosalina? And I, and I hope that, like, some people agree with me. She's, like, like, magical looking. Like, if, if, I, if I saw her, like, as a kid, I would have thought she was, like, like, a demigod or something. <laughs> like, what is... Like, holy crap. She has this soothing presence. Oh, here we go. This amazing aura. Where she's sending us. Of course, it's a sp it's a full spaceship. Like we powered it up. Oh my! Are we destroying the ships as we're passing? But that is so. <sighs> There's a warp field inside the castle. She's awesome. She's freaking awesome. Look at this. I'm telling you, it is the coolest thing you can do. I cannot wait to see Peach. I've missed Peach so much. I've missed her so much. Here we go with this one star. The fate of the universe. Okay, uh, just to get a few thoughts out really quickly, Rosalina has been just an amazing, like, presence in this game. And again, as I said, she's a soothing presence, and I think that's intentional. I think she's a very motherly, like, presence, uh, like, among things. I feel like no matter how many times things got super dangerous, seeing her makes you calm almost, like, instantly. Um, I'm gonna miss her. We're not done yet. We still have a bunch more stars to do. I'm not, I'm not, we're not done yet. But I will definitely miss her as we're going along. But here's the thing. My heart... My heart wants to see Peach. <laughs> I need Peach. Where is Peach? We will destroy Bowser to get Peach. The music. Mama says this fight isn't just for us. It's also about saving your spell. Aww. Please be careful. Whatever you do, do don't be- If he honestly feels like they care about Mario now too, because he helped them. Those sponsors have their own gravity. Try sticking to them. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. That's actually really cool. Okay, so that's going to be a nice little mechanic that we can use during this game. Um. Yeah, that's going to be really cool. Like, it really feels like there's like this united feeling amongst the 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 creatures that we've helped in this game it really feels worth it you know what i mean it feels like we've done something and not that we were looking for something in return like let's be honest mario did this to save peach but i feel like he found something even more special along the way because i think if you look at the way mario's a hero he is a hero but i feel like there is always some type of thing that kind of like forces him almost into being a hero in a way which isn't a bad thing, you know? Everyone can have their reasons regardless, even if they're a tiny bit selfish, even though Mario's not selfish. But you get what I'm saying. I feel like him and Link are like, you know, different heroes in a way. Uh, I'm gonna get hit by this. Oh, apparently not. Um, and the way I, I, I mean that is that I don't think any, they're stronger on either side. Link is a hero who was born to be a hero. Mario is a hero who kind of like fell into being a hero, you know what I mean? He's kind of just a guy who, a regular guy, who found him- Okay, Mario- <laughs> I don't know what's happening, why couldn't I get up? He's just a regular guy who found himself being a hero. And the reason I use the two of them in the same analogy- This is really neat, guys, look at this. Is because I feel like they're the flagships, you know, they're the flagships of Nintendo at this, at this point. They are the game series that people most, like, look to when, I, when they think of Nintendo, for a lot of people. Certainly, uh, for me- Oh god. Oh, no. Uh, I'm about to die for, for getting a 1-up. Okay. At least we didn't lose any lives, technically. But yeah, that's what I really like about Mario as a hero. And what I like about Link as a hero, too. 
And the reason I'm thinking about Link is because I'm replaying Breath of the Wild right now. This is dangerous. And the way when you, when you jump, it like it feels like you're you're joining, like you're going into a whole different perspective that you didn't go into before. I don't know. That's super cool. Um, F it. Okay. And let's jump over here. Oh my God! No! 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 No, no, okay, okay. Oh, wow, that was very generous. I feel like I did not make that. I feel like I did not make that, but they were... Oh, no, I definitely didn't make... Okay, hello. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Mario hates me. <laughs> Just because, like, I think I've cindered his butt. Whoa. Whoa. And now I've burnt his butt with ice. Guys, there's gonna be a lot of... There's gonna be a lot of, like, deaths like that in this game. I'll just be honest, like, there will be. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, especially in this level, I'm not gonna act like, you know, I'm gonna do amazing on this level. There's gonna be a lot of, like, deaths like that. Especially deaths that, like, come from me landing on my tushy. Ah, like, right there. Oh, okay. At least we got the one-up. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, okay. I still want to get that one up. I still want to get that one up, even if we are going to die here. It's a cool level, though. Like, the thing is, I don't mind... I don't mind tough levels. I really don't mind tough levels whatsoever. I'm the type of person, I think, that, like, whatever a game wants to throw at me, it's like, okay, like, I'm here now. Ah, it's avoiding that last one. That's the most difficult one for me to avoid for some reason. I don't know why, maybe it's because like it's it's hard to guess the perspective of it, but here we go. At least we didn't get hit by that one. Okay. We have to remember we are oh wow, they're gonna fall apart as well. Maybe we should be spinning on this. Oh god. Let's jump here. Oh no! Oh, we might get, we might be in trouble here. Oh, barely, barely got that. But like, at least we got the one up, and at least we're gonna, moving on here now as well. This is pretty crazy. Like, this, but then again, this is kind of like this weird, like advanced evolution of like each level in the game. You know what I mean? It's like it feels like we really are like evolving to like every dangerous aspect that we've seen in this game. So, obviously these fireballs are like a staple of like Bowser's uh, domain, right? Like, like if, correct me if I'm wrong, cause like I haven't played every Mario game, but like it seems like he loves fire. You know, he loves flaming like balls trying to hit you. Let's move on from that phrasing, okay? Let's never talk about this again. Holy. <laughs> oh my God, no. No, don't be mean. I love this. Don't be mean. Ah, ah. Ah, how do we get over? Oh, no, I messed up. Oh, that was really cool, though. I want to try it again anyway, so... <laughs> well, we, we started this level, this whole thing, with, like, a few lives. And now here we are with much more lives. So we jump up here like this. We jump up here like this. I see where we have to go now. Um... Oh, now it's an, a, a gravitational pull thing. Holy... Yeah, I... I okay... From my perspective, um, and you guys might disagree with me, I, I thought that, like, avoiding getting that life there was much more... Like, because the thing is, we we're going to die there. We might have a big... Oh, my lord. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing to me? Okay, let's try and avoid this. Oh. Oh, we can... Sp I forgot we can spin them. They knew. They knew I was going to get hit there. This is crazy. I thought that, like, you know, obviously, yeah, okay, like, right there, like, where these platforms are gonna fall, I think it would, it was better, it was a better idea to just move, keep moving. Oh, hello. How are you? Oh, I thought you could jump on them. I guess not. This isn't, this is, this is, this is a lot. This is a lot. We're gonna die here. Yeah. This is a lot. <laughs> Like, it's very grand, though. Oh, wow, we're here. That's a checkpoint and a half. But then again, this game has been, like, extremely generous as it comes to checkpoints, I feel like. Like, there's never been a time where I've been like, oh, man, they, like, 
they fucked me over with the checkpoints. So like a checkpoint where it's like, okay, like we actually have to like really work to get back to the place you were in, or at least like kind of work to get back to the place you were in. I, I'm, not, I, I'm not too upset about that at all. Like throughout this game, they have consistently, ah. So what is the conditions of the spin working for the thing? Is it like right before it hits you or something? Or is it, again, I like, I know it's very late in the game now, but. Uh, let's keep keep jumping. Okay, we land on this, but it's it's not gonna do as much good when we go over here. But there's a coin over here. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna take me a bit. It's gonna take me a bit. This is this is really grand though. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe not. <laughs> I still think that, like... The only reason I'm now I'm going for the 1-Up because it's like, okay, we're, we're going to die a lot more than I thought we would. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it, it's over. Yeah. See what I mean? Okay. Someone's going to be like, Calvin, I... This part is easy. What the hell? And I'm going to be like, great for you, my friend. Okay, we missed that. We missed that. We missed. That. Okay, I'm. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna keep go. I think I'm gonna avoid the one up because it's clear that I'm not in the right space to get that. <laughs> Calvin, you suck at this. You know what's? Uh, th th I always do that whenever you like play through, and people are always like, "What the hell?" Like, people are very supportive. You know, obviously, like there's always gonna be one or two people who are like, "You should have done better." Every once in a while, but like people are very supportive, so I just like to like make up people in my head. Calvin, I bet you smell. Well, that wasn't nice. <laughs> no, didn't have to bring up that. Okay, let's try and avoid these boys now again. Oh, wow. Genius. Genius that they placed it there, not me genius for, like, figuring it out, by the way. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm so... I'm so... Gr oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. Uh, it's been amazing, and I will see you all very soon. Um, unfortunately, of course, um, I refuse. <laughs> we are done with the series. To be honest, though, I am kind of... Oh, yeah, it's going to disappear. Yeah. I am kind of glad that this last level is kind of kicking my butt. Uh, I am kind of glad. And just because, like, you know, it's the final level, you know what I mean? It's at least, like, the final main level in the game, you know what I mean? It would be kind of silly if, like, we just, like, trotted on by in the last level, you know what I mean? And there's another one-up. Collecting those bits is so important. Let's let him get this. That one has a coin in it, but the other one didn't, which is strange. So, okay, so we, I feel like we are, like, working to get to advance here. I feel like, guys, can I be honest? So, like, I, I don't want to sound defeated. Um, and people are probably going to be like, Calvin, please don't sound defeated. Uh, because I'm not. Like, I feel like we can do this for sure. But, like, for a split second in my head there, I was like, oh, I'm going to die here again. Which is, the, which is, like, the opposite thinking of what you should have always in one of these levels. Like, in my opinion, anyway, it's the opposite idea of what you should have in one of these levels. Um... Because, like, you know, you should always feel like you do. And for a split second there, my head was like, oh, like, Calvin, maybe you can't do this. And I was like, no, like, you can. Like, come on. And maybe it's just because, like, it was, it got a little crazy here and I died multiple times here. Which is probably the first time I've died to a mechanic. Like, multiple times, you know what I mean? To, like, one enemy mechanic this many times. And there we go. On the try that I was like, do it. You can do it. Holy, is that Bowser? And Bowser Jr.? <laughs> Looking for Princess Peach? Too bad, because she's with me. Peach! <laughs> my girl! <laughs> she's like, that is my man. <laughs> I love them two together. I love them. 
Oh my god, and the way Bowser just like didn't even say a word. Confident in his son. Good father. If you if you don't count all the stuff where he like makes him go on dangerous missions. Then he's a good father. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh wow, they are they're working overtime here. They are working overtime. The way he calmly waits for us to walk up as well, with all the flags in the middle of him. This is epic. This is truly epic. Finally! You got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe. Watch and weep. Oh my, put your mask up. Well done. From this galaxy, I'll rule a great galactic empire with Peach by my side. It will last forever. She doesn't want it though, dude. Is that what you want? You know, like you could find a good like turtle dinosaur girl, you know? Settle down. N we'd never have to fight again. I understand Peach is amazing. I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So Mario, as long as you can see, I got big plans. And stopping you is at the top of my list. Let's do this. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. I am so excited. So it's gonna- is it gonna be a sim- oh no, we shouldn't get the coins, I just instinctively went to crash something. Okay, so it's gonna be a similar- no, it's not gonna be a similar boss- oh, it's like this! Oh! We should have been practicing all along! Oh my god! It's the ha it's the thing that I'm not good at! Yes! Okay! Where are you coming, where are you coming, boy? Okay, 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 I got this. Yes. Turn back into one of those things again. Thank God we did practice a few times. Ooh! <laughs> come back here. Oh, he come back around. I'm so I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. <laughs> what are you doing now? Oh, your fireballs. Yeah, I'd resort to fireballs too if I failed. I'm trying to get him to hit these spikes, maybe. Or maybe one of these... No? Uh, sorry, I like. I thought it was worth a try. You know what I mean? I thought it was worth a try. I think that it has to have something to do with these... No, maybe not? Just don't hit the... Th I wonder what he has to do then. Oh, maybe we have to hit him with these? Yes! Okay, great. He's gonna come back around here now? Okay, awesome, yeah. The music is so- my, my heart is pounding! My heart is, like, actively pounding. It's so- like... And like, in a good way, it feels so good. Come back around, my friend. It feels so good. Oh, where are we going now? This is- This is some Final Fantasy <laughs> Final Boss though. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, here we go. <laughs> This is- this is the most hype Mario boss I've ever fought. Like, actively, the most hype when he jumps onto it. So- oh, I see. And then he does that thing again. We lost a life or so. Hitting him is more important here. And then he comes back around here. And I say hitting him is more important because, like, we can get- we can get this coin at any time. Oh, is he- I mean, are they not gonna count that coin? Okay, there's a coin here. Oh, they just repositioned me a little bit. Bowser. Bowser, you need to understand where we are as humans. You think of me as weak. Do you even know that I am the brother of the strongest man who ever lived, Luigi? You don't even know. Even if we lose today, we will jump you tomorrow. It is the way of the Luigi Brothers clan. Oh god. We're down to our, our regular lives. Okay, we need to like allow him to like jump here. Yeah, we're not we're see that's the thing. We have to get him to death. We're going to fail miserably if we don't get Oh, ow ow ow. Ow ow ow. Okay, if we don't get him to jump here, we are going to fail miserably. 
This is this is a tougher boss. Okay, no. Um There we go. See, this, the thing is, though, like, he still has, I still only have one life left, which is not good. Okay, what's he gonna do now? Is he gonna become, like, Lava Bowser? What's he gonna do now? Don't try and trick me. Wait, what? Is he gonna be- He became Dead Bowser! He skipped the final form and went to Dead Bowser! That was such a fun fight. That is- that is- that is legit the best boss I fought in- in a Mario game so far. Oh my lord. <laughs> Heart is heart is pounding. Heart is legit pounding. Huh? Oh, did he throw off the freaking ship? Okay, we have dark wards about like. Oh no, they fell. Okay, <laughs> he's falling too. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my god! What was meant to be? I'm sorry, but like... Magnificent, magnificent person is Peach. And like, you get to know her even more through the Paper Mario games, especially Paper Mario 64 and Super Paper Mario, which I've played. She's freaking amazing. Petition for a Paper Peach game, please. Oh, he's not done. He's not done. Here he comes. What is this? He's freaking staggering as well. No! My galaxy! My empire! This can't be happening! Oh, he's dead? Is he legit dead? Okay, I thought we were going into another boss fight. I got excited. Whew. Really fun. Oh, like, look at that, like, Mario was just, like, the smile on Mario's face just said, like, I'm just happy to be holding her hand again. <laughs> like, and that's beautiful. Wait, what's happening to... Oh, is it all getting sucked to Earth? No, no, they're destroying it? Are they destroying the Luma's home? Cease this. Stop. What are they doing? All the Lumas are helping us? Fuck. Cease this now. That's all the Lumas power together? I've never seen, like, that type of emotion from Mario's face when he saw the Luma. It was kind of like, you don't have to do this for me, you know? Do you hear the baby stars? These newborns will go up to become galaxies someday. What a, like... When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter- Wait, all the- Eventually that stardust reforms to create a new star, and so the cycle of life continues. Did all the Lumas die? 
But the cycle never repeats itself quite the same way. Of course it doesn't, they were all special individuals. They all had their own, like one of them loved living on the couch, like. One of them was constantly on the couch. You'll see. It's fucking depressing. Someone's gonna say, well, they kind of like, they had to. Are we back where we were supposed to go? Man, if the Lumas are freaking dead, like those Lumas, I know they're gonna recreate themselves as new galaxies and that's great and all, but like... And this feels amazing. Oh my god, there's, there's my mama! <laughs> there's Mama B! And there's Bowser Jr. having fun as well, I guess. Okay, whatever, he's the son of a evil person. Like, we can't really... Oh, they're even like the piranha plants there. Wait, is Bowser the Chew? Hey, Peach. How you doing? Get out of here! Go home! I'll see you in Galaxy 2 or something. Yes. Carries the essence of the stars. Even all of you. <laughs> That's really beautiful, though, in a lot of ways, right? It's really beautiful. Like, obviously, like, I don't want... Like, I'm not in a place where, like, I want these people to, like... My, my, my friends to die. Like, these Lumas that have helped us. And I'm gonna freaking, like... Oh, this music's gonna make me really emotional. I'm gonna miss the heck out of, you know, Rosalina. There's Koizumi. Oh, now they're gonna show us parts from the game that's gonna make me really sad. Freaking like, that's so, that's so sad. Like, yeah, New Galaxy's great. I'd rather have all the Lumas that I met back. All of them. Even the hungry ones. I'd rather have them all back. This isn't the end of the Let's Play, by the way. But I do want to talk about this as if it is the end of the Let's Play, because we did beat the final boss, we are seeing the credits, so we will talk about the game itself, and what I feel about the game while this is happening. Look at the bee! The bees! My brothers and sisters! Um... This, this finale was exciting. This finale was amazing. It got me so hyped. I came into this thinking like, okay, we might fail a bunch of bunch of times. I came out of this... Like, and even like in the middle of it, I got so freaking hyped. I was like so excited, like that Bowser boss and that level gave me such an adrenaline rush as I was playing it. Like I feel like that's what every final boss uh, really should be, there's Toy Time Galaxy. Um, what I will say is this, um, and I hope this makes perfect sense, uh, is that like, I think that this game, in terms of level design, in terms of creativity, in terms of like colors and, uh, maybe not colors, but in terms of like its story as well, uh, is better than Super Mario Sunshine. For me, and I hope I don't upset anyone by saying this, but I gotta say my own opinion. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine is still like probably gonna be one of my favorite platformers ever. Um, and maybe you can say, well, Calvin, that's just is your first 3D Mario game or 3D open world, or I guess what you would call these 3D Mario games like this. Um, so it's always obviously always gonna have a special place in your heart. But yeah, for sure. To me, both these games scratch a different itch. You know what I mean? One's the back, you know, and one's the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, wrist or something, <laughs> you know? They both scratch a different itch for me. Uh, Sunshine's vibes and, and, you know, locations to me are just some of the best places I've ever been to. Mario Galaxy has some of the best level design and, and amazing platforming levels ever. 
Uh, you know, like, I'm not trying to, like, pit them against each other, like, this has to be better than the other one, because I feel like they both just offer different things, but I feel like people will be asking me that question, which do I prefer? And what I'll say is they offer different things. I think Super Mario Sunshine is my preferred one, but that's like, that's like saying, and I always use this analogy, you have 10 donuts on a table, or two donuts on a table, and then someone asks you which one is your favorite, and it's like, well, both those donuts are freaking delicious. You know what I mean? That's just the way things go. I love Breath of the Wild, but I prefer Skyward Sword. Now let's talk about this game in the context of this game. Like I said, the level design was amazing. Uh, the storybook added so much to the, the, the lore and the vibes of this world. Uh, I think that this is one of the best iterations of Bowser I've seen in the game. It's one of the best reasonings for Bowser I think they've ever had in the game. I feel like there's also one of the best reasonings- Oh, I wanna- <laughs> Pug, that always gets me. <laughs> it's one of the best, uh, like, like overall stories, uh, like I've seen in a Mario game, uh, and it's very simple. And there it is, the end. It's very simple, and I know I've talked a lot already, but to me, this game is just like super special. To me, this game is like one of the most special. Thank you for letting me play it. It's one of the most special experiences I've had with a game like this. <gasps> Just to talk very quickly and finish my few thoughts, um, I was so excited every single morning to wake up and play Mario Galaxy. Like, this game is so chock full of ideas and wonder and magic, and like, you can tell that the director of this game, Kozumi, and the people working on this team had so much fun. Like, they, you can tell, I, that's my favorite type of game, where you can tell that every single decision made in the game was made from someone who, like, really cared about the game and really wanted it to be really special. And that's, like, a staple of, like, most Nintendo first-party games. Like, they do this a lot. But it's like, this 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 game was so magical to play. I'm gonna miss the heck out of it when we eventually do finish it. We have some stuff left. We have some stuff left to do in this game before we get it. We're going to be getting 120 stars, and then we're going to be... I think we have to beat the boss again or something like that. Uh, we're going to be doing something like that. And, of course, we have the storybook chapter as well. Um, a question I have for you guys is... What was your favorite moment up to this point in this game? Because, obviously, I don't want spoilers. What was your favorite galaxy? What was your favorite area? Do you prefer this, or do you prefer sunshine? What's your favorite aspects of this game? I'd like to hear all of it because I feel like it is something that like we could talk about in future videos as well or even like talk about it like in the next video too uh, because this is something that over the past month and a bit has meant the absolute world to me. Has meant the absolute world to me. Let's keep going with this by the way. Let's not waste any more time. Purple Comet has appeared. Save your game. Save your game I will. And guys, in the next one of this game, or in this level, uh, we will be going back. I don't want to go back into this just yet. The reason I don't want to go back into this yet is because I want to, like, go in really fresh. And guys, I'll see you all in the next one. We're not going away just yet. I thank you so much for everything uh, that we've done so far in the series, and thank you so much for the support. Again, like, I don't want to, like, seem like I'm, like, going, like, I'm trying to pit games against each other because I feel like every game should be kind of, like, judged within itself for the most part. But I know for a fact someone's going to ask me the question of which do I prefer, Sunshine or Mario Galaxy. And yes, there is a certain bias in my own mind where I'm going, well, Sunshine was my first type of these games that I finished. Of course, it's going to always feel very special to me. Um... But this game is also very special to me. Again, it's like two children now to me. I love them both. And I love Peach. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.